Welcome back, you guys. This is Spiritual Sag. Um, for those of you who are returning and uh, for my new people, please hit my subscribe button. And also, all of you guys, please hit the like button. Okay, so as I was meditating on you guys' energy, right, um, I got the word cycles. So I don't know if you guys are starting a cycle or ending a cycle, but I got the word cycle. Um, and you guys know I always shuffle in between my readings. And so as I was shuffling the deck, the world card came up. So let's go in and see what's going on. I ordered me some new decks. I ordered the, uh, I think it's called Sexual Tarot. Sexual Magic Tarot. Anyway. They should be here Friday. I'm going to start doing readings and see how your partner is feeling about you sexually, right? Yes, honey. We need to know. Because maybe you're in separation from this person. You know, especially my people on this twin flame journey. Most of us in separation right now. But it would be nice to know how this person is feeling about, thinking about us sexually, right? Um, so, we're going to get three cards to go in with the energy but as i said i was feel I, I heard the word cycles so you could be starting a cycle or ending a cycle the ace of wands popping up in the upright okay the uh, six of cups is in reverse and the queen of cups is in reverse the ace of wands for me is my passion card this could be fresh brand new ideas um it's also passion y'all look at that pole I know y'all get tired of me saying that, but for real, just look at it. What it look like. Okay, that's what I thought. So, uh, that's new passion, right? Fresh, brand new ideas. Okay. Then I have the Queen of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Cups um, is like a really caring, giving, lovable person in the upright. In the reverse, to me, this person can be selfish. Just to keep it above, this person can be selfish. All right. Um, then my six of cups is also in the reverse. This is my soulmate card. Um, but you could be dealing with somebody from like high school, middle school, college, whatever. You know, somebody from the past. Or this could be a past life soulmate. But this is definitely my soulmate card. But it is in the reverse. So let's go in and clarify. Let's see what we get, people. Y'all should go check out my Etsy shop and get you guys a bag of this self-love spiritual bath these are not you don't bathe with this stuff i mean, i don't know why a lot of people think you bathe in it no you soak in this okay you need to bask in the ambience of self-love right open that heart chakra and allow um new love to come in whether it's for yourself you know or from someone else a lot of people need to do some um hot heart chakra um work and this is a good way to start with this bad soaps okay so this popped out for me the three of swords um for me i'm just keeping it in the butt with y'all for me this is my uh third party card because you see that heart and you see the three swords each one of those swords represent people so there's three people okay third party situation going on is that why this uh queen of cups is in reverse is that why my six of cups is in reverse? We're going to see. Then the ace of wands comes up in the reverse. It came up in the upright in the beginning. Now it's in the reverse. The emperor is in reverse. Okay. I told you guys that this is my soulmate card, right? But it's in the reverse. Now, the emperor in the upright, this is top dog right the the society see, views this person as always doing the right thing but you know when the emperor is in reverse he can be something serious and most of the times this person is in reverse because he doesn't have his his person his partner that's what i get and then with this ace of wands in the reverse okay i just told y'all i see passion with this card now it's in the reverse. Somebody is, is, is holding back, right? This, this Queen of Cups, she's giving this love to herself. 
and it could very well be because of this third party situation but somebody holding the passion back um so it's either you or this emperor okay but somebody's holding passion from a past person and like i tell y'all that past person is my soulmate card so let's see take that too okay so what i got out here is the nine of cups in the reverse nine of cups in the upright is like wishes dreams coming true but then i have the victory card in the upright i have the ace of cups in the reverse and i have the queen of wands in the upright the queen of wands for me this is fire energy i really do see a lot of fire out here with all these wands i see air and fire i do see some water cancer scorpio pisces aries leo sagittarius uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's what I see. So you guys can have that in your chart or you could be dealing with that energy. All right. The the Queen of Wands in the upright, she's very, she's viewed as being beautiful. Very beautiful. Very alluring. Um, I tell y'all, this is my favorite card. Right? But she looking good, smell good, money good. You know, she knows her words. She's standing on it. Right? Ain't nobody up there on that throne but her okay uh the ace of cups in reverse this is in the upright this is like a brand new cup of love right coming from the heavens you see that i always tell y'all water for me represent love emotions feelings but this is in the reverse <clears throat> then the uh six of wands is coming out <clears throat> this is like a victory card you know you could be having a victory in uh, some kind of situation and then the nine of cups wishes dreams coming true this is in the reverse so i'm feeling like while somebody else is having victory somebody else is feeling like their wishes are not coming true with this i really feel like this emperor feels as though their wishes are not coming true with this queen of wands right but there's three people here. Now, don't get it twisted. What did I say? This is my third party card, y'all. There are three people here. This emperor was dealing with a queen of cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and he was also dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. But this queen of cups is in the reverse, right? Um, and it's, this queen of wands is in the upright. But this emperor doesn't feel like that they're going to have their wishes come true with this... Um, Queen of Wands, this is what I'm feeling. I'm really feeling like that's why this, this emperor is in the reverse. You know, because um, this past person, um, you know, could have been his queen, this Queen of Cups, this Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This emperor right here could have been dealing with this past person, right? And dealing with, with you too, you know, this Queen of Wands. That's why this third party card is out here. But their wishes and dreams are not coming true. From them having this third party, it didn't bring them nothing good behind that. But somebody is getting victory, right? I want to see who that is. Somebody on this board is getting some victory with this victory coming up in the upright. So, Spirit, let's clarify this energy. I got the food card, and then I got the temperance card. This is Sagittarius card. Um, this temperance angel, she brings balance to the situation. This could also be talking about patience, you know, having patience in a situation. It didn't pop out, but I, it showed itself. So, the food card is at the bottom of the deck. You know, sometimes the bottom of the deck is just as important as the first card that comes out on the board, you know. Um, but, let's see. Temperance card again, like... What is going on? So I really feel like there's a emperor, okay, a divine masculine that that was dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces, and they were also dealing with a Aries Leo Sagittarius fire sign. But this is the person that they want right here. This is the person that that uh, emperor wants to be with. Okay, and they don't feel like that they have a victory with that person. But like I said, somebody, yeah, they don't. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up if I try it, y'all. The uh, Three of Pentacles popped out. 
This person doesn't want to have third party situation no more. They don't. Fine. Knight of Swords is in the reverse. In the upright, the Knight of Swords comes in really fast with some type of news, right? Um, this is in the reverse. So let me, I want to know who is having victory, though. Because this victory card is out here. We know, we already know that there's a third-party situation going on. We know that this Emperor does not feel like he's going to get this Ace of Cups. Right, this brand new beginning with this with this Queen of Wands, this fire sign, but that is who he wants to be with, right? Um, he was dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So let's see. And I really believe that this is a twin flame situation. Right, this Emperor is a divine masculine. With my Six of Cups in the reverse, I believe this situation right here. I believe this Emperor was dealing with a soulmate. And a twin flame. That's the energy I'm getting off of this. Some of these cards ain't telling me that, but this is what I'm feeling. I feel like this emperor was dealing with this queen of cups. That was his soulmate. But this twin flame over here, y'all know them twin flame situations be way stronger than them soulmates. Because, you know, these soulmates are here to, um, especially if they were a karmic soulmate. You know, you're supposed to learn some lessons with that person. They are destined to be in your life, but only for a short period of time. You know, you need to learn whatever lesson, especially if you keep, what did I say I was getting in the beginning of these cycles? If you stay in a cycle with a person and you ain't learning the lessons, you will go through the same situation with that same person over and over and over again until you learn the lessons. Then you can begin a new cycle, whether it's with that person or with somebody else. But until you learn the lesson, you're going to complete that cycle. I mean, you're going to continue to go through that cycle, right? So I'm really feeling like that this emperor... This situation right here, this is a twin flame situation. This emperor is dealing with his soulmate and his twin flame. Now, don't get it twisted. That emperor could be a female. Okay, this is energy. Do not look at the the um, gender on the cards, right? This could be, that queen of cups could be a male Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And this, this queen of wands could be a male um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. But I'm really feeling that this is a masculine energy. I'm really feeling like that this emperor is a divine masculine dealing with two uh, feminines. This queen of wands is the divine feminine. And this queen of cups is the soulmate. That's, that's what I'm getting. The karmic, honey. I'm feeling like that's what I'm feeling. That, that queen of cups is the karmic soulmate. Okay, And this person is feeling like they're not going to have that uh, fresh brand new beginning with this Queen of Wands. But like I said, somebody's getting some victory. So let's see. Yeah. That's what flipped over for me. The Fool. I tell you guys, the Fool packs light. Because the Fool wants to jump into a new situation and just start completely over. Fresh. Brand new. That bag that's on that pole, um, this person is packing light. Right? They got the bear necessities you know toothbrush toothpaste credit card whatever but that, that's all they bring them with them they want to start over with this victory card yes i i can't make this stuff up y'all this two of cups i'm telling y'all this is a twin flame soulmate situation this masculine was dealing with i know y'all get tired of me repeating myself but this is what it is okay this person wants to have victory. They want to have a brand new beginning in love with this Queen of Wands. That's just what it is. And you can't cut it down no other way. Dealing with that past person ain't bring them nothing. Even though it was a soulmate. It didn't, you know, that's not where they want to be. I believe that this person going to learn the lessons. I believe that this person has learned the lessons. And they want to end that cycle with that Queen of Cups that's coming up in the reverse. And I feel like this Queen of Wands is absolutely this person's uh, twin flame. And that's who they want that victory with. With that six with that six of wands coming up here in this food card. This person wants to end this third party situation. And this two of cups. That's equal love on both ends. So you feel the same way. Whoever I'm talking to, you feel the same way this emperor feels about you. Listen, y'all. This is what... But this is what's up. Do y'all know what that is? Let me explain. Y'all know I'm going to do that anyway. So, all those pinnacles, that's money. 
right? Um, you see the couple, you see the kids, the dogs, the nanny, the big house, the land. This is the family card. This person want to have a whole family with their twin flame. That's what I'm getting in this situation. But this is this is up too. Uh oh. This is up right here, y'all. Let me see. Let me show y'all. The uh, communication came is it's on the deck sideways, so I'm picking it up like that. And so is the um, two of pentacles. The two of pentacles in the upright is somebody juggling the situation, juggling two people, uh, two different things, two ideas, two situations. In this case, this person was absolutely juggling a queen of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, with my three of pentacles out here and the three of swords. But this person don't want to do that no more. And they really don't, right? But they're not sure. They don't know how to come in. Because, you know, in the upright, the eight of wands is fast communication, fast movement. This is, It was sideways on top of the deck. So, you know, this person don't know how to come in and tell you how they feel. But they really want... Um, this is what they want with you victory they want to be the full energy in this in this in this love situation that's what they want they don't know and they they want this family with you right this could be your energy you could be the emperor you could be one of these queens out here but whatever this story is for a twin flame situation that had a third party with a water sign and a fire sign that's what i'm getting guys so let me see how this person going to come in. I can't just leave it like that with the sun card at the bottom of the deck. Y'all could have been dealing with a Leo. The emperor could have very well been a Leo. But this is also the happiest card in the deck. It's the happy card, the sun card. You know? I really, I really feel like it's going to be a good outcome. I really do. But, I, you know, I'm nosy. Let me make sure all my cards is... Not ain't no more cards flipped over. I really feel like y'all gonna have a good outcome, but I'm nosy, so I got to see, um, you know, how this person's gonna come in. They wanna come in and communicate. They don't know how. With the eight of ones coming out sideways, this person don't know how. Maybe they don't have the strength. They don't have the courage, um, the confidence. You know, whatever, because they done messed up. This person done messed up. You cannot listen. You know what? Let me explain this right quick. When you are dealing with a divine feminine or divine masculine, I don't care if it's if it's a masculine or a feminine, when you're dealing with something that's divine, you can't recreate that. You can't go and find that in nobody else. Divine. That person is divine. What does that mean? <clears throat> that means that person was made for you. They first of all, y'all are twin flames, so y'all share a soul. Y'all, if y'all ain't heard about this twin flame, y'all need to go look it up for real. But y'all share a soul. That's why y'all had instant recognition when y'all saw each other. You know, the connection, the, the chemistry is so freaking strong. You know, but that's not to say that you're not going to go through anything with this twin flame. Because there's a bigger mission, okay? It's a spiritual connection. You're absolutely going to go through a lot, right? You, the divine feminine is going to go through a lot. And the divine masculine is going to go through a lot. You have to, you know, so that you can, when you get this high vibration love, you better appreciate it. You better appreciate each other because all the things that you had to go through. I kept seeing that temperance card. It showed itself twice. Um, so that's letting me know that somebody needs to have patience in this situation. But you guys will absolutely come together and it will balance everything out. But right now, I'm really feeling like there needs to be patience on both ends, you know. Um, I really feel like that Queen of Wands needs to continue to put energy into herself. And that Queen of Cups, you know. Whoever that Queen of Cups is, she needs to start putting energy into herself. And so does the Divine Masculine, right? And go within. All three of these people need to go within and find the answers. You need to talk to the Most High, go within, and, you know, be patient with the situation. Be patient on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself, you know, because it's when you realize that something was made for you, that you let go, that can be hard on a person, Right? Imagine that, you know, this plant, I'm just going to use it for an example, but, you know, somebody get, gave you this plant and you didn't see any value in it, so you gave it back, right? 
But then months later, you find out that that person that gave you that plant was an earth angel. And this plant was made for you by God. Can you imagine how you're going to feel? So, yeah, I'm just telling this to, you know, all, all parties involved. Don't beat yourself up. Don't be hard on yourself. Have patience with yourself. And forgiveness, you know, forgiveness will be key in this situation. Patience, forgiveness, because you, you, you know, everybody's going to eventually be happy. It's going to work itself out, okay? I make 20 minutes. I love you guys. Don't forget to um, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And go to my Etsy shop and get you guys some self-love, all right? And open your heart shopping. Until next time, bye.